Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to episode number 34 in the book of B with me. I'm going to title today, crazy title, God Was Unjust. Kind of a new thought for me. So we're, we're in this section where we're going to talk about the justice of God and a guy who's going to reject, you know, God's provision of a way that he satisfies his his justice. So think about this. God was unjust one time. That is against the person of Jesus who didn't deserve it. And it was was with great, great effect. So the substitutionary satisfaction was achieved for all the sins that are, you know, uh, under the, under that banner. They got fixed by that for those that receive him. And today we're going to find about uh, the, this big topic again, we're going to go back to it w- once again, is what will you do about your sin? And the guy today is going to say, hey, I'll take my own sin. I'm not going to to uh, to take the, the injustice that was done against Jesus as payment for my sins. I'm going to take it on myself. So this person wants justice, his own justice, and he wants it on himself. So God's provided a way. He's got this attributed justice, the injustice of God, if you will, against Jesus. And it's been offered in a way that we can receive mercy. And this guy is going to say, no, I'm going to spurn it. I'm going to profane the blood. I'm going to say to grace, no, it's not for me. All right. So listen in here. This is from Hebrews chapter 10. For if we go on sinning deliberately, after receiving the knowledge of truth. This is verse 26. There is no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a fearful expectation of judgment and a fury of fire that will consume the adversaries. Anyone who has set aside the law of Moses dies without mercy on the evidence of two or three witnesses. How much worse punishment do you think will be deserved by one who has spurned the Son of God and has profaned the blood of the covenant by which he was sanctified and has outraged the spirit of grace. For we know him who said, Vengeance is mine, I will repay. And again, the Lord will judge his people. All right, so let's talk about what this means about this person that is saying, No thank you to grace. So God's made this path. He's he's enacted a rescue. We've we've heard about this super priest and kind of this super blood. And today we hear about this guy who says who does not respond appropriately, which is to draw near to the throne of grace. In fact, he's he's he goes the opposite way. He spurns the sun. He tramples underfoot is the is the real translation of that. He despises the path that God has made. So rather than ending up in praise and worship and just humility, they say, nope, that's not for me. So then he profanes the, 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 the three descriptions, spurn the sun, profane the blood, which is holding a view other than taught in the first 10 chapters of Hebrews. So in, in other words, they're thinking about this wrongly. And then the third one is outraging the, the, the spirit. And that doesn't mean that he's mad at you. It means that we, it's something we do, not something he does, that we insult him. We mock him. It's something that we do to him. Um, so the way where justice is 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 satisfied is in his son, in, in, in a sense, God being unjust. This guy is saying, nope, I don't want that. So this is uh, insulting and mocking God because he's made this great re- rescue. So we find this person at the beginning of the passage for if we go on sinning deliberately. So that means... So ask this question, do Christians sin? Yes. Do non-Christians sin? Yes. What's the difference? Well, Christians sin regretfully, not intentionally. They they sin mournfully, not willingly. They they sin grievingly and not uh, deliberately. So this is a person who is not regretful. He's not mournful. He's not grieving. He's sinning deliberately and says, "I'll take the I'll take the payment." Now, this person probably complains about God's justice and, and says, "I don't like a God who's just. I don't like that there's judgment in this passage. I don't like that there's vengeance and punishment." Well, I would say to him, wait a minute, wait, you want an unjust God? You want a God that's mercurial? You want one that's unpredictable? You want one that's just, you know, crazy temperamental that flies into into fury? 
uh, for for no reason? Or do you want him to be a just God, except for the justice that the injustice that he allowed against his son? So from here on out, we have every indication that God is going to be, that there's no plan B. He's going to be just from here on out. And trust me, you want no part of justice for your sins. You don't want any part of that. So let's let let's just let God be God. Let's let God do his job of justice and let's us respond correctly correctly. Let's do the right thing with the son. Let's not spurn him or despise him. Let's worship him. Let's do the right thing with the blood. Let's think about it rightly, like Hebrews does, which talks about the effect of blood and powerful blood and substitutionary blood and permanent blood. And let's not spurn the spirit of grace. So the, the spirit of grace, that is the person of God, the spirit, can't be separated from the character of of the activity of giving giving grace. So let's not spurn the sun. Let's not spurn the spirit. Let's not <coughs> spurn the blood. It's obviously it's very difficult to move people off of their uh, their conviction. But let's think about this right. Let's act correctly and think about this correctly. Which is regarding our sin. Let's regret it. Let's be mournful. Let's let let's be grieving and let's cling on to the justice that God has for us, which is our justice is that God was unjust against uh, Jesus. And let's receive the injustice of God, if you will. God was unjust just one time. So we have a just God and you don't want his justice. You want his mercy. So let's, how do we get it? We receive it by faith. We receive it as a child. We receive the injustice that it was done to Jesus so we don't have to receive the justice on ourselves. The passage just before this talks about how should we respond to this great uh, great sacrifice? Well, don't spurn the son. Don't profane the blood. Don't out, uh, in, insult and mock the spirit. And how do we do that? We do that by drawing near. So let's draw near. It's a crazy thing to say to the injustice of God that he did against his son. And that way we get mercy. Thanks for listening.